I do want to to mention um, something about the the judgment, and this is something that a will always happen. We are natural human beings. Judgment is something that does protect us. It, it is a form of of protection, and I've experienced that some of the most judgment I've gotten is from people that have experienced something similar. Because wow. when we distance ourselves, when we say, uh, for example, um, someone that's raped, and by no means am I saying this is right, it was their fault. It makes it so that way we, we internally go, oh, well, that can never happen to me. Or um, it's their fault because I feel it's my fault when I went through it. And it's something that the psychology behind it is so much deeper than many of us really realize. It's something that I love the psychology about it. It is something that I um, definitely have uh, analyzed myself a lot. I, um, I've looked a lot into it. Now talking about the you know, the psychology behind it and going to counseling and getting help. A big dynamic of my parents is my dad is a psychopath, a narcissist. He gaslights. He is what caused my mom to become abusive because a part of what he did, um, first off, gaslighting, if um, your listeners don't know, is where if I say, hey, the sky is blue and you're like, no, bro, the sky is green. And then Steve asks us like, yo, what color is the sky? And you say the sky is blue. And then you start saying, Jen, why did you even say that the sky is green? Like, you're so wrong. Like, you can clearly see that it's blue. It's playing those psychological games with someone to make them feel crazy, to make them doubt themselves. And what a lot of narcissists do is they isolate their victim, I guess you could say. Um, and they will come on really strong with love bombing where they just like, like put so much love and hope and dreams in their head. And then they slowly take that away uh, and make it seem like when they take that away, it's the victim's fault. 